Most clothing brands make their garments to fit one person, and I know this because I used to be that person. Hi everyone! So before we jump into the video, I have a quick announcement. I just launched a Patreon page, so if you like what I'm doing here, you can support this channel and help improve the content. I'll include a link in the cards and some more information and a link in the description. So the reason I wanted to make this video is because it makes me so sad when I see people criticizing their bodies when clothing doesn't fit right. And this is unfortunately incredibly common. Comments like, I need to lose weight, or my insert body part is too big or too small. And the problem is not with your body, the problem is with the clothes. So to talk about this properly, we need to go back in time a bit before fast fashion where people had less clothes and they spent more money on each item of clothing and they had them for a longer time. People didn't expect clothing to fit them off the rack and had it tailored to fit them well. But with the rise of mass production and fast fashion, clothing has become so cheap and also so disposable that there's no reason to get it tailored because you'd probably be spending more money on the tailoring than you did on the item. Clothing is also seen as disposable and people don't keep them very long at all. Some people only wear their clothes a couple of times, so it doesn't make sense to have it tailored to fit you if you're only gonna wear it once or twice. And because of this, there's also been a huge increase in the use of knit fabrics, like jerseys and t-shirt kind of materials, because those are much more forgiving and will fit a larger variety of people because they have stretch to them. Now in the clothing production process, clothes are generally fit to a fit model, and I'm not even sure with fast fashion if they fit all of the clothes. I assume they don't because it seems like it would be a lot of time and money. So the designs are turned into samples or prototypes, and then those go through either one fitting or multiple fittings if it's a brand that cares much more about fit to finalize the pattern. And once the pattern's finalized, it's then scaled up into all of the other different sizes or scaled down. I think the most common female fit model is about a US size four, but I've also seen some size six and eight fit models. And then menswear, I think typically is a medium for fit models. Now the fit model is supposed to represent a company's target market or typical customer. Now, unless the company is specifically targeting a certain body type, they generally use a standard size fit model. And it's kind of a weird situation for companies that are starting out because you don't know the exact measurements of your target market. So then they tend to use standard sizing and then their clothes only fit the standard sizing. So that kind of becomes your target market. I hope that makes sense. And I've checked fit model sizes here in Europe compared to Canada and America, and they're all about the same, which just shows me that this standard sample size is used in a lot of different places. So the industry is basically making clothes to fit one body type, and it's often fit on a young white fit model. So I worked as a fit model for two years, and first of all, fit modeling and editorial or runway modeling are completely different things. And if you think it's a glamorous job, it really isn't. You're basically a living mannequin. You stand for hours, you're constantly changing into different clothes, and people are pinning things and adjusting things on you. You have to stay the exact same size. They measure you every time you come in, and sometimes very openly point out the things that are wrong with your body. So you definitely have to have a thick skin to do it. And the reason I did it was because I was studying fashion design at the time and it allowed me to learn a lot about the fitting process and kind of the behind the scenes of production and design and garment construction. So I really saw it as an opportunity to learn and make some contacts in the fashion industry. It also worked well with my school schedule because it's a freelance job and they schedule you at random times. I could kind of work that around all of my classes. But if any of you happen to be thinking about doing that as a job, I would really wouldn't recommend it. Now I don't want this to come off the wrong way because I do realize that I'm incredibly fortunate to be a sample size and have a lot of clothes that are essentially made to fit me, but I still go into stores and find clothes and try on clothes that don't fit right. So the point I'm trying to make is that it's not your body, it's the clothes. 
clothes just aren't made to fit a wide range of body types. However, there are brands that are fitting and designing for different body types, but it's not at all as common as it should be. It also takes more time and costs more money, which affects the final cost of the garment. And then there are also some issues around vanity sizing, which I won't get into too much because I think people are a bit more familiar with this, but it's basically where companies will lower the numbers of their sizes so that people feel better about fitting into a smaller size garment. But what this does, it completely changes sizes throughout the industry so that a size 10 in one store might be completely different than a size 10 in another store. And it just goes to show that size really doesn't matter and it's about just trying on the clothes and seeing what fits you and not caring about those numbers. So you might think as a consumer you can't do anything about these fit problems, but one of the best things that you can do is provide feedback to companies. So if you try on something, tell the person in the store or email the company about why you didn't buy it and what were the fit issues. It may seem like they're not gonna just listen to one person or that they don't care, but companies actually really do appreciate that feedback. And if they get a lot of similar feedback, they will make changes. And I've seen it happen. I've seen companies adjust their patterns or their grading. And it's also really helpful for online reviews. So if you write about, you know, what your general body shape is and how it fit on you, that can really help other people who are maybe thinking about purchasing that garment. If you have a lot of problems with fit, try sticking with materials that have stretch or knit fabrics because those are much more forgiving and will fit a larger variety of body types because of the stretch. And invest in tailors. If there's something that you really like, you can get it tailored to fit you properly. The best thing to do is fit it to your widest part, and then the tailor can generally take in the other areas. And that way you have a garment that fits you really well and you'll enjoy wearing it and hopefully keep it for a long time. Most people don't wanna pay extra for tailoring because we've been so used to fast fashion and very cheap clothes, but it can be totally worth it to have a garment that fits you really well. You can also get custom clothes made from small designers, either locally or on sites like Etsy. You can find fashion designers who will make clothing specific to your measurements. And finally, the next time you try and close, please try to avoid that self-criticism because the problem is not with you and your body. The problem is with the clothes and our ridiculous fast fashion industry. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little different than my other videos, but it's a topic I really wanted to talk about and kind of, I guess, get off my chest because it makes me so incredibly sad to see people being so hard on themselves and critical of their bodies when clothing doesn't fit. It's crazy that the industry is designing clothes to fit one body type when there are so many people and body types in the world and clothing is made for basically one body type. Now, obviously I did make some generalizations in the video and I think it's so great that some companies are trying to fit on a more diverse range of bodies but yeah the majority of companies just work with one essential body type and often just one fit model too to fit on but i don't think a lot of people are familiar with that process so i just wanted to start a conversation about it and i would love to hear your guys thoughts in the comments thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one